What hardships are you willing to go through just to follow our Lord Jesus Christ? A blessed day, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Following our Lord Jesus Christ is not an easy task. To commit our lives to Him means offering the totality of our whole being to Him. This is our aim in Couples for Christ, to come together and serve Him in various ways. Sharon Padilla, a CFC full-time worker, experienced challenging situations in her life that challenged her steadfastness in her faith. And her resolve to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Sharon, a certified public accountant from Quezon City, heard God's call to become a full-time missionary. It was a difficult call because at that time, she was already holding a high-paying position in an established company. However, being faithful to God, she gave up this job and became a full-time pastoral worker in 2018 serving in the ministry of CFC Singles for Christ. After more than a year of serving in the ministry, she was assigned to lead the finance department of the CFC Global Mission Center. This was not something she aspired for, because what she really wanted was service in pastoral work. She was enjoying engaging with other single men and women in the ministry. But because of her focus on obeying God's call, she faithfully obeyed. Being a full-time missionary does not exempt one from life's challenges. In Sharon's case, her father's health issues and hospital care challenged their family financially. She contemplated resigning from her finance job and looking for other options that could give her greater financial benefits. But again, God's grace and the help of brothers and sisters in the community enabled her to continue her commitment to serve the Lord. Our Gospel today is affirmation of Sharon's obedience to God's call. Jesus Christ reminded those who would follow Him about the persecutions that lay in store for those who would commit to follow Him. It is indeed a very difficult journey to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. When we first commit to serve, the task may seem easy, particularly in the context of pastoral work in CFC, where in the beginning, we are reminded simply to pray, to serve in gatherings, to share our resources and talents. But we soon learn that following Christ is not just about tasks and activities, but about surmounting challenges and trials along the way. Many times, our patience will be challenged. We will feel unworthy. We will experience disappointments. We may feel betrayed by those whom we least expect to reject us. Sometimes, family emergencies such as illness or financial difficulties or relationship problems become obstacles in our journey of service. But let us remember Jesus' promise that those who would follow Him even if they go through persecution, will experience God's saving grace and that they can find courage and confidence by the power of His Spirit. St. Stephen, the first martyr, who committed his life to Christ, exclaimed before he was stoned to death, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. He was given the privilege to see what awaits him as he offered his life to our Lord Jesus Christ, the price of seeing his Savior face to face. That is also what awaits all of us who commit to follow our Lord Jesus Christ until the end. 
a price that makes all persecutions worth it. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, thank you for allowing us to know your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Thank you for giving us the privilege of following him, no matter how difficult it may be. May you give us the grace to endure all trials and persecutions that we may face along the way, that in the appointed time we may see him face to face in your eternal glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless our families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.